Hi there, I'm Eitan and welcome back to the Wix Wiz. Today's video is going to be all about sharing your Wix website and getting feedback from friends and family either before or after you publish your website to the internet. So if you're interested about learning that and more, let's get started. <music> Okay, so welcome to my Wix website that I've worked really hard on. I copied a template and I changed all of the content and the fonts and the colors and the branding and everything. And I think that I'm ready to go live and go and hit that publish button right over here. But first, I just want to get a second opinion. I want to share it with some friends and family, get their comments, their feedback. And that is the first scenario that we are going to be talking about. So how to share your Wix website before publishing at all. And the first way to do that is by using the get feedback feature. And in order to do that, you are going to have to go over to your dashboard. So that's either through here, through my dashboard or through your site picker, you can go straight to the dashboard and that will take you here. And if you go to the home section right over here and find these three dots here on the upper right that say site actions, I'm going to zoom in there just so you can see it, site actions. And then once you click over here on site actions, you'll see that the second from the top is the option to get feedback. And once you go ahead and click that, you will have this pop up come up and you have two options for getting feedback. So the first would be to put in your friend's email and send them a message and invite them to leave feedback. And they're going to get a link to give that feedback. The other option is to just share this shareable link. So for example, if I go to copy link, and then I'm going to open it up in an incognito window as if your friend just got this and opened it up. So, let's so this is what the page will look like once you send them that shareable URL and they open it on their own browser. So first of all, it kind of looks like the Wix preview mode. And if they are not a logged in Wix user, then their experience might be a little different than if they have a Wix account and they're logged in. So just take into account how your website might look to different kinds of users. But in general, they should be able to browse your website exactly as you built it. And another really cool thing is that they can also look at the mobile view on desktop and take a look over here. Once they've taken a look at your website and they have some opinions about it, they can go and click add comments and they can just say, this looks great, but I think that you should do something, something, and they can kind of drag and put that comment where they think they should be commenting about. Okay. And they can add in another comment and let's say, uh, great pick and put it right over here and give you feedback about your website, either in desktop view or mobile view. And then once they're done and they've given you that feedback, you can go back to the dashboard and from the same place that you requested the feedback. So that's again, these site actions and then get feedback. You will now see that you have two comments on this site view comments. And once you click that, you'll be taken to a URL where you can take a look at the comments that people left for you. Uh, so here I see all the open comments. So great pick looks great, but, and I see where exactly they left them. And then I can decide to add a reply or I can decide to resolve it, which basically means, okay, I dealt with this issue it's done. So I can click resolve and it goes away. And here we can filter between resolved comments and open comments. Okay. And that way you can keep track of the feedback that you still need to resolve regarding your website. Okay. So that's method number one for sharing your site. And this is a great solution if you want to share it with people before publishing it and you don't want to add them as collaborators to your website. Okay. Option two for sharing your website before publishing it to the web would be to add a person as a collaborator to your website. So that is done through the 
dashboard. And you can go over here again to Site Actions and Add Collaborators. Once you are in the Invite Collaborator section, you can put in an email over here for whoever you want to add as a collaborator. So for example, I'm going to add in team at the wixwiz.com. And I'm going to decide what role I want to give them and what permissions and different access they're going to have to the site. So if you're adding someone who's just going to kind of take a look at the design, then you can go ahead and look for just website designer, for example. If you want somebody to take a look at your dashboard, then you can give them back office manager permissions. You can also tailor and manage roles and give them specific access to different things. Uh, but they will be able to do things except for just view your website. So if you just really want to get very surface level feedback, then the get feedback option is really great. If you want people to kind of be able to either dive in a little deeper or even help you out a little bit by implementing their own feedback, then adding a collaborator is definitely the way to go. Once you've added all of the roles, then you can go ahead and send that invite over. After you, after you select a role, you can go ahead and send that invite over, say it's for, you know, someone else, a friend, and click done. And then you will see here that they're pending and whenever they join your website, they will, um, they will pop up as a collaborator over here. So that is a second way to share your website with someone before publishing it to the web. If you want to share your website after it's already been published, so I go ahead, I publish my website. And now I want to make some changes. So instead of train of thought, it's going to be train of speaking. I don't know, something like that. And now I'm not so sure about this change, but I do want to let people take a look at what the site would look like live with this change. So I'm not ready to go ahead and publish it to the web, but I do want to send the link to people so that they will be able to take a look at the site. So you could still use the get feedback option, but another option would be to create a test site. And in order to do that, you can go over here to site and then go to create test site. And now a test site has been created. And the way you can identify this test site is you can see at the end over here, it says site revision four. So you see it has like a question mark at the end. And then after that, it says site revision equals four. This is an indication that it's a test site. So if I was to go and click view site, then you can see the edit that I made. So train of speaking. But if I was to go ahead and get rid of this site revision over here, then you'll see that it's still my original site. So my original site is still live, but I have the option of sharing a test version with people just to get their impression. And this can be good if your site is already published and live on the web. And if you want to test certain things that might be a little challenging to test using the get feedback feature, um, which is primarily good for testing out different design aspects. Another cool part of the test site feature is that you can also use the release manager. So this lets you release different versions of your website to different people and test out different versions with different percentages of your user base. So in order to do that, you can go to the release manager. So after you've created a test site, you can go to your release manager, and this is part of the dashboard. And once you're inside of the release manager, you can determine what the exposure is for your newest version. So I can go over here and edit exposure. And let's say that this version exposure will be 30% and click Save. So now 30% of the people that visit my website at random by some algorithm that Wix decides will see the new version with train of speaking. And 70% of the people will see train of thought. And then you can kind of measure 
and see if this was a good change or not based on feedback that you get. Um, so those are the different ways to share your website. So again, I'm just going to recap. Option one was to go to home and to get feedback. Okay, option two was to add collaborators. And option three was to create a test website and to use the version manager. So I hope that this helped you uh, share your website with other people either before or after you've published it to the web. Uh, if you like this kind of video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this and other Wix and Velo related topics, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We have new content weekly. Uh, you can also check out our site, thewixwiz.com for more information, courses, our forum, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.